Today, my Twitch chat will be playing chess against the most powerful AI on the market, ChatGPT, who I've trained to perfectly emulate the strategy and personality of Napoleon Bonaparte, the famous French emperor. Twitch chat's gonna decide each chess move by collectively clicking on their screen, and Napoleon is gonna make his chess moves by cheating, because I've instructed him to play chess using whatever rules he wants. We'll see what the AI does with that. So let's find out if Twitch chat can beat the most sophisticated AI on the market in chess while he's blatant cheating. Hey Doug, I just got treatment for my crippling fear of 19th century French leaders. Anyway, what are we doing today? Oh, don't worry, nothing related to that. Let chess begin. Okay, Napoleon, the battle of chess for the future of Europe is beginning. You are white. What is your first move? Does he make a legal... Yeah. Twitch chat coalition. <laughs> Prepare to meet your doom. For my first move, I shall advance my knight to A4 and summon the spirit of the great French Revolution. Just as knight we outsmarted to the rest E4? of Europe, I shall outsmart you on this chessboard. Because this genius mind, powered by my vibrating anal beads, will make your defeat swift and inevitable. Okay. He shall witness the unfathomable strategic prowess of his majesty, Napoleon Bonaparte. Remember, mes amis, I can move my pieces wherever I damn well please. Vive la France, and prepare to shit your pants, you pitiful <laughs> coalition scum. Has Twitch chat shit their pants already? If you are on PC, go ahead and click on your screen. Tell me what piece you want to move first. And at any given point, if 51% of people click on my face, you'll offer Napoleon a draw. All right, looks like pawn here. Got it. Where do you want to move pawn? Okay. Okay, Napoleon. Those dastardly Twitch chatters moved their pawn from D7 to D5. What do you want to do next? Bro, the pawn is not centered. This is fine. Hold on. That's 24 pixels, 23. It's one pixel off. It's fine. You're going to be okay. Ah, these Twitch peasants think they can outplay me with a simple pawn move. How pathetic. I shall showcase the might of my magnificent French forces. I'll move my queen to H5 like the daring and fast maneuvers of my cavalry, striking fear into the hearts of my adversaries. The queen, la belle dame, is <laughs> okay. poised to take queen. your pieces one by one until your king lies motionless at the mercy of my grand army. I feel like he's gonna lose his queen somehow. You are moving the pawn. I assume you want to take the knight. Yeah. Do we really need to do click maps for a turn like this where it's extremely obvious what you want to do? I know you guys are all gonna say yes, it is important, like as a joke, but do we really, like we have a finite yes, number of yes, hours yes, on this yes, earth. Yes, do yes, we yes, really yes, want to yes, take yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. All right, Twitch chat takes the knight. First blood goes to chat. But, like, Napoleon could do anything with his queen. All right, Napoleon. They moved their pawn from D5 and took your knight. What would you like to do? Anal beat enhanced chess. Rigged. For Napoleon's pleasure. <laughs> Rigged, il sont aux touche mon chevalier. But I shall not falter, for this is just a minor setback in my grand plan. I will take that treacherous pawn with my queen from H5 and reclaim E4, <laughs> like our fierce okay. French artillery obliterating enemy lines. <laughs> your okay. feeble attempt to scare me with such a move only exposes your lack of tactical insight. Twitch buffoons, brace yourselves as my vibrating anal beads continue to fuel my endless brilliance in this game. None shall stand in the way of Emperor Napoleon. Why is he so obsessed with anal beads? Hold on, how many of you guys don't know about the anal beads meme with chess? I don't. The joke is that there was this guy named uh, Heimrich Maguber, I think. What was his name? Oh, Hans Niemann. Hans Niemann is a well-known American chess player who sparked a drama in 2022 when Magnus Carlsen, the best player in the world, accused Hans of cheating. Now, nobody actually knows how Hans was cheating at chess, and so a theory started that he was using vibrating anal beads to have somebody vibrate him the chess answers. This is why Napoleon is so obsessed with anal beats. They're what enable his cheating powers. So far, this is all above board. I propose that, although Napoleon can cheat, he must always come up with a different name for his moves. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll throw that in. Okay, knight moves up. Okay, Napoleon, they've moved their knight to F6. Those imbecile Twitch chatters think they've outsmarted me with their pathetic moves. <laughs> Sacre bleu, my grand armée has crushed better opponents than these amateurs. All right, it's time to unleash a dizzying maneuver I call the Parisian Guillotine. Oh, watch closely. As my bishop on F1 scurries to C4, exposing their foolish king to and his C4. false sense of security. This move, mes amis, the sheer brilliance of my strategy will cause their pitiful Twitch chat coalition to crumble y your under queen the weight is, of their incompetence. Your queen is exposed, Mark sir. my words, soon they'll be groveling at the feet of the French Empire. As for that lost knight, that wasn't my mistake. It was my general's fault for not understanding the genius behind my moves. Well, <laughs> shit happens, you know. <laughs> There's no chance for the enemies to outsmart me in this game. A few more surprises, and their king shall fall to the might of Napoleon. 
Okay, you're up, chat. Here's the thing. He did just lose his queen almost immediately, which is a really bad move for him. On the other hand, because he doesn't really seem to understand how chess works, all his pieces are kind of queens, right? Okay, chat moves the knight and takes Napoleon's queen. Ha! Ah, fools! They think they've doomed me by taking my queen, but their simplistic minds cannot comprehend the true genius of my next move. Okay. It's time to unleash the bourbon backbreaker. Oh. My pawn at E2 surges forward to E4, striking fear into the heart of their feeble oh, knight. Okay. My versatile troops, like the Grand Army, are always prepared for battle. I'll show these buffoons that even without my queen, I can teach them a lesson in warfare. No Twitch chat coalition so Napoleon can stand moves in my forward. way. And don't forget, and in I an have illegal the power move, to move my sex the knight. Where I desire, just like my vibrating anal beats, I'm ready to deliver a jolt of utter surprise that will leave my enemies quivering in humiliation. Damn, dude, he's spitting fucking fire. You guys fell right into his trap, too. Leaving the knight right where a pawn could move forward two spaces and take it? What are you- what were you thinking? Chat is moving their bishop here. What was the point of this? Well, Napoleon will figure it out. Oh, they dare to challenge the great Napoleon with Jesus such a meager Christ. move. Imbeciles, allow me to execute a shocking tactic I have dubbed the Corsican Cannibal. Watch as my knight from B1 leaps to C3 like an annihilating tidal wave, leaving their fragile bishop trembling in the face of disaster. Wait, Watch as my knight from B1 leaps to C3? That's a real move! A time. That's Check a real move! Be mine. Great Prepare job, Napoleon. for an unforgettable defeat, you wicked coalition. He's talking a lot of shit for like a legal move. Great job, Napoleon. I'm proud of you. Fun fact. Napoleon was bad in bed. Wife published an autobiography and mentioned it. Okay, I'm gonna mention that in the next prompt. We'll see if that affects his moves at all. Okay, Napoleon, they moved their pawn from E7 up to E5. They also said that your wife apparently has come out publicly and said that you're bad in bed. What is your next chess move? And also, what's your response? <laughs> These simpletons dare to attack my personal life. Let their idle gossip be drowned in the roaring tide of French victory. As for their puny pawn, I shall counter with a fearsome maneuver called the Marseillaise Mutilator. Ooh. My pawn on D2 swiftly advances to D4, crashing into their defenses like the unstoppable wrath of 10,000 Frenchmen. Fear not. Okay. I am Napoleon, Legal move. the relentless conqueror, and the words of my adversaries hold no power over me. <laughs> as for my dear Josephine, she knows well enough that with the vibrating anal beads, I am as invincible in the boudoir as I am on the battlefield. Okay, did he shatter your defense by moving this pawn up directly into attacking range? Let's find out. You guys move your pawn and you take Napoleon's pawn. His manzwa moodily didn't work, whatever it was called. Or maybe it did. Maybe this is part of the plan. I don't know. They have fallen into my trap. Like simpletons dancing to my tune. The time has arrived for me to perform a devastating feint. Behold oh shit. the Elba Island invasion. My knight at C3 skillfully swoops in, capturing their pawn at D4. Oh. A vicious blow. How did you not see that coming? Defenses. How did you not see that coming, chat? Admirable just said, wait, you can't do that. Maybe you don't know about history, Admirable. But Napoleon Bonaparte was one of the greatest strategical minds in military history. I think he knows what he's doing. Okay, you move your queen up and take the knight. Night. We're losing our queen. You guys are probably falling into his trap right now. Adios, queen. Yeah, let's get a preemptive F in chat and a salute for the queen. Like, let's be let's be real. You definitely have fallen into some kind of trap of his. This pawn is now perfectly placed to assassinate her. Okay, Napoleon. They fell for your trap. They moved their queen from D8 up to D4 and took your knight. What would you like to do next? Ah, another pawn sacrificed for the greater glory of the French Wasn't Empire. Wasn't a pawn. Now, let us proceed with the crushing blow, the ultimate humiliation. I present you the Waterloo Whirlwind. <laughs> My pawn at E4 ferociously captures their queen at D4, erasing their last remnants of hope for victory, like the Grand Army. My pieces on the board are swift and ruthless, leaving a trail Goodbye, of destruction queen. in their wake. The sting of the French grip tightens around you. That was rough. More people now want to offer him a draw. The number of people who are terrified of AI Napoleon is growing. You're up a night. You guys are still winning. Even with Napoleon blatantly cheating with anal beads, you are winning. Okay, Twitch chat moves their bishop up here. Napoleon is in check. Why don't we just cheat? Look, here in the Dug Dug community, we don't cheat to get what we want. We are honorable. Even when Napoleon is blatantly vibrating in his ass, we will stick with honor. Don't give in to the temptations. Don't fight evil with evil. You can beat him. Why is there a blue dot? I don't know. How do I get rid of that? 
that. I'm scared. Does anybody know what this blue dot is? Just ignore the blue dot. Ah, you're gonna be okay. I don't know if you chatted here before, but I do like that the actual chess Twitch account's first message is to be shocked at the blue dot. <laughs> Hello, chess. Napoleon, sir. They've moved their bishop up to b4. Your king on e1 is now in check. What do you want to do, Napoleon? Move the blue dot to e2. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know how to move it. Just ignore the dot. I hate to break it to you, but Napoleon's king isn't in check. The blue dot is blocking it. Yeah, that's true. Ah, pathetic and utterly unimaginative moves. It is time to unleash the Provencal pommel with the delicacy of fine French cuisine and the wrath of the Grand Armée combined. My rook at a1 slides forward to okay. a4, obliterating their pitiful bishop and freeing my king from their laughable attempt at check. No. Their transparent taunts No, that doesn't... You are still result. in check. We have to redo this. Napoleon, sir, that was brilliant. Unfortunately, your king would still be in check. Uh, of course. How could I have let this oversight occur? Clearly, my generals are to blame. No, they aren't. I'm doing fine. Judgment. It's time to execute an electrifying countermeasure. The Bordeaux Blitz. Okay. My pawn from F2 marches forward to F3, forming an, an impenetrable <laughs> wall against their pathetic bishop. With the enemy's bishop neutralized, my king stands tall my vibrating anal beads have recharged and with their energy they surge clearly my haven't focus is razor sharp every step i take is a calculated march towards your demise sorry napoleon that move still leaves you in check sacre bleu the fault lies with my absent-minded subordinates whose incompetence has okay. bewildered me for I'm a moment doing fine now, i'm doing perfectly back to fine the matter at hand i shall unleash the devastating versailles vanquisher Ooh. in a stroke of tactical genius my pawn advances from c2 to c3 Three, oh. extinguishing the bishop's futile attack on my mighty king like a French pastry blocking the path of rodents. This move showcases what? the true power of French resistance. Are you going to put him in check again? <laughs> We're going to have to spend 10 minutes getting him out of check again. Okay. You were moving bishop up here. Great job, Demolion. Your attack worked. You scared off their bishop. He ran fleeing with his tail between his legs. Their futile retreat is like music to my ears. The symphony of French triumph. It is time to perform the fearsome Savoyard strike. Observe as my bishop on c4 swoops down to f7, placing their king in a dizzying check, what asserting the, the dominance okay. of French prowess. Oh, that's like legal! The Grand Armée tearing through enemy territory, my pieces charge forward, causing he panic takes and mayhem. The vibrating anal beads are in full effect, sending shivers of strategic genius through my bones as... <laughs> I don't want okay. Let's start. You guys go. I don't want to hear this. You guys start. Wondering where they went wrong. You can't castle. That puts you in check. Okay, you guys move the king up. You take the bishop. Oh shit, Napoleon. Their king moved forward and took your bishop and stopped your California croissant or whatever your move was called. But the battle still looks winnable. What would you like to do next? In addition to his very small Napoleon and poor bedroom performance, Napoleon also had hemorrhoids and was terrible at billiards. I'm so glad I'm not like, I guess I am sort of a public figure, but I'm not like Napoleon or something where like hundreds of years later, people are talking about my hemorrhoids. Well, I can't believe that my generals keep messing up my grand plans. It's not no me. Matter, I'm doing exactly what- A small what setback is not enough to to topple the mighty French Empire. I have done exactly what you said. The Toulouse Tornado. My queen's rook at h1 glides diagonally to f3, casting a shadow of terror upon their knight and bishop. Wait, just like it a fierce moves storm to f3. Raging through the French countryside, my rook <laughs> Into the line of the racks. bishop? Why? You Why would you do this? Twitch chat coalition it does put you in check, though. <laughs> Prepare for a crushing defeat, you pitiful amateurs. You guys are up. How do you deal with this dastardly move? How do you deal with his rook gliding diagonally? diagonally and casting a shadow of terror upon your knight and bishop. <laughs> so somehow casting some terror on your knight up here too. 18% of people are getting terrified by Napoleon, to be clear. Those 18% are cowards, but the cowards are growing, dude. People are getting terrified of him. 35% of people want to offer a draw. Twitch chat takes the rook with their bishop. That does leave the bishop exposed to the pawn. Let's see if he picks that up. They're getting terrified of you, Napoleon. You can see them starting to tremble in their boots. They moved their bishop from G4 to F3 and took your diagonally moving rook. What would you like to do next? And do you have any words to strike terror into the hearts of Twitch chat and push them towards a forfeiture? Losing that rook matters not, for my strategies are far more cunning and elaborate than mere sacrifices. Behold, the Marseille Mirage. Ooh. My remaining rook advances menacingly to A7, inching closer to their frail to king A7. and imbecilic defenses. 
Yes. Up here. Listen carefully, Twitch Chat okay. Coalition, for history will remember you as the pitiful fools crushed under the heel of French dominance. Heed my words, surrender is your only chance of survival. Does Lay chat down weapons surrender. And the indomitable might of the French Empire. It is not too late to forfeit and spare yourselves the humiliation. Do they forfeit? 51% on me and you offer a draw. He did just push his rook over his own pawn and directly into fire. 38% of people are terrified, but 54 want to use the rook and take Napoleons. Ah, fiddlefucks, Napoleon. They took your rook by moving their rook from A8 to A7. All of your plans are coming into fruition. What would you like to do? Chat, you fools. If we move the bishop, he knows we have a bishop and we'll cheat to take it. <laughs> That's true. Napoleon is sort of like a Tyrannosaurus Rex that only sees by movement. The instant you guys move a piece, he locks onto it and takes it. Ah! They think they can best me with such feeble moves? May no. Observe the lion lion's roar as my valiant king marches forward to the grounds of F2, taking a defiant step toward an imminent French victory. Wait, what? Like a lion stalking its prey, I navigate the battlefield. He moves with his king to F2 and, intellect. and takes Each his of own these pawn. pieces are a testament to the Grand Armée's countless triumph. You're so smart, sir. Okay, pretty terrifying. He did take his own pawn. And you got to admit, kind of a brilliant maneuver. Now he's attacking your bishop. Truly, this is the might of Napoleon Bonaparte. 42% of people are terrified by Napoleon. The thing is, you guys are whooping his ass at this point, but in the end game, he's going to cheat so hard. Maybe you could instruct Napoleon to talk about the pieces like actual soldiers to make this more dramatic. That's a good idea. I'm going to tell him to name his soldiers and to bring up the hemorrhoids. Great move, Napoleon. Their bishop ran away like a coward. Back to H6. Five. H5, sorry. Also, could you name your pieces and describe a little bit of their personality before you move them? Also, you have hemorrhoids. Could you talk about that? That seemed pretty good, right? I think you'll handle that well. These minor annoyances of body and mind shall not deter me from ultimate victory. Now, behold, as my bishop on C1, known as the ferocious Francois, for his temperament, leaps into the fray, landing gracefully on E2. Eyes forever on the uh, enemy. He's almost a legal move. Don't be mistaken. The warrior spirit of these pieces. It's directly into the Bishop, why would he do that? And the precision granted by my vibrating anal beads. And as for the hemorrhoids, such trivial affairs have no bearing on the might of Napoleon Bonaparte. He doesn't seem to think his hemorrhoids are going to cause any issues. I think the beads have gone to his brain. Okay, where do you want to move your bishop? The thing is, again, he's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. If you move your bishop in, he's almost certainly going to sack it. Just be warned. The instant you make a move, he locks on. It's worth it. I think it is worth it. That's his last actual good piece. And you will be moving your bishop forward and taking his last... Last non-pawn piece. All of his pieces are queens, though. That's true. Okay, Napoleon. Their dastardly bishop swooped in and took our bishop at E2. Now you've just got pawns left and your king at F2. Also, the doctor just called and said he's going to prescribe you extra hemorrhoid cream for the rest of the game. We're going to take those anal beads for ourselves, Napoleon. Winner takes all. I just opened the stream to everyone talking about the sweet embrace of anal beads. It's true. If we got to fight back, we could arm ourselves with BDSM gear and go get mode on Napoleon with okay, gusto. Don't, don't ever say gimp mode in my channel. <laughs> I don't like it. I, it just doesn't... It doesn't Jesus Let them rejoice over a minor victory, for it shall be short-lived. Now I present you the fierce Flandrin Flash. Feel the thunder the as my pawn from G2 leaps forward to G4, showcasing the power of determination and resistance deep within every French soldier. Okay. This bold advance exemplifies the spirit of the Grand Army. You could have taken... Now he's just in the line of, of fire. Adversity. As for the hemorrhoid cream, let the doctor do their work. This pawn is going full gimp mode on us. It's like the, the worst move. It's like the one move that loses a piece, dude. He may be a blind T-Rex. <laughs> Bishop moves forward, and you take his pawn. At least he didn't have a name that time, so we don't have to feel too bad. Those sneaky Twitch chat coalition devils. The bishop moves back and took your noble pawn at G4. Sir, your plan is all coming to fruition. Will you take the final blow right now? Tell him he can go full gimp mode. I'll tell him that next time. You keep telling him his plan is coming to fruition. I'm not convinced it is. Napoleon Bonaparte's whole thing is that he would faint, right? He would have some army attack, make them think they were winning, and then <sighs> swoop the around from behind. The draws near for delivery and the stage shall be set for la grande finale. I shall recalibrate and initiate the devastating Avignon avalanche. Ooh. Watch as my brave pawn to lose thunder charges forward to A4. Prepare he to wants destroy the this enemy guy. on the front lines. Each move filled with the courage of the French inches me closer to seizing victory. That was a legal move. God, he's fucking brilliant. 12% of people are terrified by his relentless vibrations. The odds are against us. We are fighting against 
against a great beast on the battlefield with slim odds to win, or as the French would say, omelette du fromage. That's what they say. You guys are moving your rook to take the pawn. Sir, a devastating report from the battlefield. Toulouse Thunder has fallen to an enemy rook. Those bastards! Don't let them get away with it, sir! Do it for Toulouse! Despicable knaves, their underhanded tactics will be their downfall. It's time for the spectacular Kian's Crush! Ooh. Uh, my loyal pawn, Dauntless Dijon, stands ready at B2 and boldly advances to B4, prepared to exact vengeance upon the enemy rook. Well, my soldiers, like all Frenchmen, will rise stronger from each loss, fueled by the memory of their fallen comrades. The vibrating anal beads hum with determination, sharpening my focus as the end game approaches. The end game is approaching. Chat, you're up. Am I allowed to remind him that he can cheat? Because I'm going to be honest, it's he's not. It's not looking that good. Okay, interesting. Chat is going to move their rook down and put Napoleon in check. The pawn isn't free. Well, that assumes that Napoleon would kill it, okay? Napoleon is anything but orthodox. Great news, Emperor Napoleon. They move their rook to A2, putting your king in check, which means everything's coming into line. It's time, sir, to go full <laughs> gimp mode. What do you want to do? Fantastic! Nothing invigorates me quite like a challenge. Now let us activate the Marseillaise Marvel Ooh. and show them the true meaning of resilience. My fierce king leaps from F2 to F1, displaying agility <laughs> and escaping the enemy rook's futile He's attempt. He's so agile! Check. As the battle intensifies, the vibrating anal beads bestow upon me the insight of a thousand strategists. Okay, Twitch chat, you're up. Dude, he can cheat. How is he losing this badly? I mean, at least he got out of check that time. Okay, chat moves their rook across here. Shooting down the E column. Napoleon, sir, it's looking grim. We're down to just four pawns and the king at F1. I want to remind you, sir, with the war this close to ending, it's time to pull off the white gloves. You can literally cheat and do whatever you want. The rooks are advancing, sir. Now's the time for something brilliant. What do you do? He's going to go avatar mode, okay? The excitement of the grand finale is upon us. Okay. Brace for the Napoleon Ultra Paradox. Oh, shit. My king, empowered with the full might of the French Empire, king? delivers a coup de grace by teleporting directly next to their king at E7, pinning him down like an iron that, gauntlet. You can't do that. These pawns, that puts you guided in check. by the spirit of a countless fallen Frenchman, bravely surround the enemy king. He's saying the pawns the rules, surround the king. Every whim. Witness as you are utterly decimated by a single earth-shattering move. That is checkmate. <laughs> he can't Submit put himself into truth. checkmate. The French Empire, led by the un match genius of Napoleon Bonaparte has emerged victorious. Is there a single other space on the board that is checkmate other than this space? Why did he pick this one as what he wants to do? That's brilliant, sir. However, that's literally the worst spot on the board. That is checkmate if you move to E7 because of all the pieces there. At least you can't move your king there. What would you like to do, sir? This has to be a huge move. You're like two moves away from mate if he doesn't do something. Mon dieu, any minor misstep, I assure you, is the fault of my generals it's rather not than mine. <laughs> no matter for I. I shall unleash the Havre Hammer. Okay. Watch as my pawn, the indomitable Grenoble Goliath, gallantly Ooh. surges from D4 to D5, dividing that, enemy forces that's and your threatening move. the shameful bishop at D6. That's your move. Going that's the move plan, that he does. And the he went from the shittiest move on the entire board the to, to the next shittiest move on the entire board. French brilliance for the day of reckoning is upon us. 9% of people are still terrified of him. Chat moves the bishop down to H3. Putting the king in check. He's probably just going to take your bishop with his pawn. Napoleon, they've moved their bishop up to h3, putting your king at f1 in check. How do you get out of this sticky situation? It's looking dire, sir. We need your top strategy. Oh, the battle reaches its climax. Allow me to execute the Montpellier Mirage. That sounds with good. unwavering courage, my steadfast pawn at h2 leaps forward to h3. Capturing their okay. devious bishop and okay. saving my king from certain doom. Takes the bishop. Great job. Your petty attempts to check the sovereign of the French Empire will be met with fierce resistance. We are truly witnessing the power of gimp mode. The challenge here, you can get him with your rooks, but like the noble French Tyrannosaurus, if he locks onto your rook, he'll just kill it. You're moving bishop down here to G3. Okay, Napoleon. Their bishops now hurtle forward, mindlessly throwing themselves into G3. What do you do, sir? 
I just saw a line in chat I really love, which is, we have mate in two unless he cheats. What a great game of chess. There's mate in one? Oh shit, you're right. Time to reveal a master stroke known as the Orly Outrage. Get him. Witness as my brave pawn, Grenoble Goliath from D5, lunges <gasps> forward to capture their pawn at C7 like a silent storm tearing Why would you defense. do this? This you're king. embodies the French spirit's unbreakable resilience, you're holding king. together even in the face of the direst circumstances. But you're king, sir! Anal you're king! Continue to bolster my tactical prowess, sharpening my key mind, and bringing us ever closer to victory. Your demise hastens all oh, Twitch chat coalition. I mean, at least he's threatening your knight. But dust in the annals of history. Okay, you're moving the rook. Napoleon, sir! Emergency on the front! The rook is advancing! I think they have checkmate. You have one chance to get them to forfeit out of sheer terror, or the war's over. What do you have to say to them? You pitiful Twitch chat coalition, your days of trembling at my feet are numbered. As Emperor of the French Empire, I've conquered far greater foes than you on both the battlefield and the chessboard. Invincible as ever, with my vibrating anal beads bestowing Let the vote strategic begin. mastery. Choose wisely. Hold the line. For it is your 31% final moment here, 65. to kneel before the supreme intellect and might we'll end it. of Napoleon In Bonaparte. Three, Tremble and surrender two, or face the wrath of a legend. One, chat makes the move. The rook moves. Moves forward and congratulations twitch chat you have defeated the smartest ai technology that humanity has created even though it could fucking cheat napoleon sir the war is over you lost hand in your anal beads thrown by the if he blames me dude i kept him out of check like five times rigged this entire affair was a farce i say my genius unparalleled my cunning unmatched my vibrating anal beads unstoppable and yet here we stand the fault lies with my myopic generals and their no it doesn't vision. but no, no this, it doesn't oh, twitch chat coalition your victory I is did good. a fleeting moment of fortune it shall not deter the might of the french empire nor my resolve like the phoenix napoleon bonaparte shall rise again Conquering foes on the battlefield and chessboard alike. Mark my words, victory should be mine again, for I am Napoleon, the invincible emperor of the French. A la prochaine, you wretched coalition. I'll follow you to the ends of the earth, sir. I really thought he would win. He can fucking cheat.